<laughs> Taking hands is yes. I'm not a sea captain, but a pink. <laughs> and he goes, his, his dick also has a little captain's hat as well. <laughs> it is hot in this room. <laughs> I'm losing my mind right when now. When I'm not around, he's in charge. <laughs> yeah, he has like one of those little pipes too. Oh, like, of course, that's all good captains oh my do. God. Like Popeye. Um, that sounds really disappointing, though. I, I was, that. I was shattered. But like, that's just like magic, though. Magic yeah. is just yeah. it's an illusion. It's an it's illusion, illusion, Michael. I do probably. Th- I, 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 there is someone I know who quit smoking through a hypnotist. Yeah, I've heard of that. But I think that differs from stage hypnotism. Like, that's more entertainment as opposed to... It's not done with a crowd of people, is it? Like, no, it's not. They get a group, a room full of smokers, be like, we're all going to quit smoking now. Did, they, did, they, did that work? It, it worked for them, yeah. Okay, really? But there is, there is apparently studies that say, like, even if it is a placebo effect, it's, if it's still making you quit smoking, there is something... Look, to it. I, 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 I believe know. wholeheartedly in the placebo effect. If, the, if you believe something's going to work and it's just a placebo, as long as it's working, who cares? Yeah. That's a good point. Hey. Yeah. It doesn't need to be like an official thing. No. Yeah. It's, if, it's a, if it's a sugar pill, but it still makes you stop smoking, then fuck it. Mm. I'm stopping smoking. Interesting. So how does the Terminator recover? How does he save Shut face? Dun, 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 dun. Um, <laughs> Go back in time and just like still motorcycle, man. Yeah. With John Connor. Yeah. Um, I think he needs to probably put himself... Do you reckon he needs to put himself in another... Hypnotist shit situation. Oh, uh, he's like he like he convinces his friends I, to go to another show. Well, I, like I swear, I'll prove it this time. Considering hypnotists are fake, yeah, he could sort of stooge something himself. He yes. could be the stooge to make himself look good, though. Yeah, Hook uh, up, you know, get a plan, devise a plan with this hypnotist, and be like, you got to make me look like you gotta, fucking look, awesome. You fucked up my life. You fucked up my crush. Yeah. You gotta make this better, man. The friends would probably go along with it because they'd be like, "I'd love to see you make an ass of yourself again. Yeah. Let's do it." But could yeah. you, do you reckon you can get the crush to come back again? That's a good question. Like you're maybe a not. Baby, yeah. Dude. Like I if, mean, yeah. If all his friends agree, but her, then it's if she doesn't. Then yeah. there's no point. Some yeah. advice I would give this guy just right off the bat: uh-huh. if you if if you are got a crush, yeah, mm-hmm. and you're bringing her along, don't go to no hypnotist show. Like that's <laughs> that's probably the worst show to go. Oh, like okay. not worse. But you don't, I don't think worse. you should. I, yeah, you I should. don't think you ever anticipate. Being the one brought up being on stage. Being the stooge, yeah. But yeah. that being said, don't do anything embarrassing in front of a I crush. Think, but I think you want to show that you're open to new new. You don't want to be a wet blanket. Yeah, you, you don't you're just like, look, yeah, I'll dress no. up as a baby. Tom, 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 right. If he said no, that would have been like, well, she'd think, well, he's not very outgoing. Yeah. Like, what a what I'll a wet show blanket. how chill I am. And I'm like, cool, yeah, I'll dress as the baby. Yeah, cool. I'll yeah. suck my feet. Yeah. Whatever. I'll yeah. shit my pants. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. How did he go? I don't want to date a dude. At all, but I don't want to. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's cool, dude. That, that's whatever. But I don't want to. I don't want to be going out with a person that like shits their pants or sucks their toes or whatever it is. Just like, I just. I don't know. If it was but to he was that under extent. the influence yeah. of hypnotism. Yeah, but I'm a. I'm. I'm your crush. You I'm, I'm, I'm a mind freak. I'm not. I'm not mind freak. I'm not doubting. I'm like. I'm not dating you at this stage. So I don't need to. I'm like, you know what? Every I'm impression gonna, counts. I'm going to find a guy that you know is more mentally strong that he doesn't get hypnotized. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I think because they're young, it, this is a put off for his crush. But yeah. I don't think this would make me change my opinion on somebody. Do you think that you've got a friend, any one of your friends, that would actually be gullible enough to get hypnotized? Uh, I, I'm not gullible, but I think I mm-hmm. have a friend who would be willing to let it happen. Yeah, that would just sort of like whatever. It's yeah, all good because this person's very open to those experiences. They'd be like, yeah, yeah. I, I you only all at once. Yeah, right. Why I not? have probably very similar friends. I'm probably it's probably the same friend. I don't remember. Yeah. I don't know who it is though. So I don't know. You don't I, know. I, I I couldn't pick it. Tom, mm. would you do it? No, I wouldn't. No, do I don't it. think Tom I'm would not do a big, it. No. I don't want to be. I don't want to have the limelight. I'm, I'm okay with not having the limelight. You have to behind the camera. Behind the camera in the audience, would you, laughing would and you clapping. Ever, would you ever be? All right, let's let's say it's not a hypnotist show, but like you okay. know, a magician show. Would you go oh, up on stage like, for a magician? Get me up there to be like. Yeah, there's a trick on you, sir. You sir, yes, come up here. A card trick or something like that. Yeah, look, I I mean, I don't know. If I knew their content, I wouldn't want to be humiliated in any way. Oh, not uh, humiliation. Uh, you just bro- reminded me of a story you know, about Kid You know what the problem with those things are? Like, yeah. if you go to a street performer and they get someone out, like, come on, you can help me out. Yeah. You're there for 25 minutes because those <laughs> street performers drag it out while they're... It's like, right, like yeah. I got to hold this rope. To be. And you're holding the rope. You're like, oh, fuck. Here, I'm going to be here for ages now. Because they're trying to make money, as exactly. much money as they can they're for the show. They're trying to, like, drag out. And all they're really going to do is juggle a couple of knives on a on a unicycle. What if it's uh, Chris Angel Manfred? Oh yeah, I mean for Chris Angel, I do anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm a freak for that mind. Freak. It, it, let's, I, I would totally be not not for any street before a magician because yeah. I feel like it's like eh, I'm not really that. But if it's someone like big enough, like I'll go to a stage to watch a magician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they pulled me on stage like Penn and Teller. Oh yeah, I'd love okay. to do that oh, yeah, sort for of sure. stuff. Okay, different scenario though. Yeah. yeah, I volunteered at a birthday party that had a magician. Okay. Yeah. And this is when I was probably like 12. Okay. So as self-conscious as you can get, right? Yeah. yeah. 
And I, I was at 12? Yeah, probably about that. I remember going up mm. and he, he he impressed me because he was able to take my watch off my wrist without me noticing. Okay. That was cool. But then while he was like- <laughs> He's a thief. While, yeah. <laughs> I never got that. I never got that Mickey watch. Mickey Mouse. I never got that Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Riff, raff. <laughs> but then like, <laughs> while he was like showing everybody, oh, I've got his watch. Yeah. I felt him shove a bunch of stuff up my back. <laughs> oh, okay. Right? Oh. And then, and, oh. and I could feel it, but I was like, I don't know, I don't know what's happening, so I'm not going to move. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, and what's this behind your back? And he- he grabbed from my back. It was a baby bottle oh. attached to like all these kid toys. And what is it with magicians and hypnotists doing? We're going for the baby, baby angle. Right here, baby right here. And it was all these baby stuff. And he pulled it out. It was like a lot. It's almost like the the tissue that never ends. He oh, kept pulling okay. that out of my back, and it went for ages. Yeah. And everyone started laughing at me. Oh. And when you're 12 years old, <laughs> my defense was that's not mine. <laughs> I thought you put that on my head. I can't remember the last time I had a, a, a diaper. Yeah. yeah. And I, I went into defense mode, but everyone was laughing so much that nobody could hear anyway. Yeah. So it, it made that funnier because I was. Also, so upset about hysterical. realistically, those people would not think that that was yours. I know, right? Yeah. But I was 12 years old. Yeah, you don't have any idea. <laughs> and since that day, I have hated every ah. magician. <laughs> yeah, I don't I've want to get involved seen. with no magician. Yeah, I do know. not believe in magic in a young girl's heart. Yeah. That yeah. is for sure. <laughs> That's definitely true. Um, okay, so let's answer this for the uh, Terminator themselves. Yes. What do they do? I don't know if there's much they can do. I don't know if your crush is going to ever, like, you crush on her. She maybe might not have ever liked you, but, like, was oh, entertaining. she agreed to go. Yeah, so. yeah, well, that, yeah but maybe it's just like, yeah, you know, it's a pity day. Was Could she making fun of him after it, or was he it just didn't say, It just said none of them would believe that he actually was yeah, not hypnotized. No, it'll uh, pass. Like, like you just have things. to try. I think it when you're that young, story. you can probably make another impression you know at do? a party or your next time you hang out, you can save some face. Ride a jet ski over a shark. Like oh, the Fonz. That's just, right. you got to jump the shark. you got to jump the shark. You know, be cool. Get everyone distracted <laughs> from the, the baby. Jumping the shark is a bad thing. Yeah, isn't it like when they've gone too far, Marcus? <laughs> also, <laughs> unlike a willing hypnotist participant, how do you convince a shark <laughs> to stand in one place to be jumped Look, over? You can do it, all right? Guys, you know, if the Fonz can do it, you can do it, all right? Yeah, it's Get a jump yeah. and a shark yeah. and jump it. Jump it. Okay. Maybe you can convince Greg Norman to <laughs> you can jump in. Maybe that's the next thing. Greg Norman, yeah. way down here. Yeah. Yeah. The shark. That's it. Um, okay, well, let's, let's, leave it. Yeah. let's leave it there. Breaking news. Greg Norman was killed tonight. <laughs> Skateboard to the chin. Yeah. <laughs> let's oh, leave no. it there for the Terminator and let's leave it there for the questions for this week, boys. Yeah. Um, but great questions brought, as always. Um, last thing we want to do, I guess, is run through. We've officially ended yes. the competition, have yes. we? That's right. We've ended the competition to win a brand new set of studio headphones. Ooh, they're so good. There's no, um, there's no sex in stylish. And we've had plenty of submissions, and we want to read them all next week. So next week we're going to do some studio submissions. Yes. Um. To and then announce the winner of our. Studio. I'm pretty sure most, if not all, of the episode will probably be studio. Yeah, submissions. Yeah. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. So um, thank you to everyone who got involved in that. Really appreciate that. But mm-hmm. that's all the time we have for this episode. Let's run through some plugs as we like to do. If you want to get in touch with us, you can email us at tqhpodcast at gmail.com. Let us know your questions. Let us know your thoughts. Say hi. Whatever. Yes. Do whatever you want to do. Uh, but that's the place to do it. Otherwise, you can head over to Twitter or Facebook, TQ Hedge Podcast. And, of course, head over to Spotify and listen to the show there. Yeah. Actually, fun fact about Spotify. One of, one of my friends who listens to us on Spotify oh. got the Spotify, like, your year top, in... Top of not 2019. It, yeah, your year in review. And we were on there 2000... 900 minutes listened Whoa. to with all of our faces. Wait, so. Do they do like top, like if top five artists and we were an artist? It wasn't. No, like they it, do top podcasts. The, the podcast as well. As well. Hey. All I saw was our faces in that podcast. So fuck yes. Shout out to him. Hey, so if we're in your top, top, uh, you know, 2019, screenshot it and send it to yeah. us yeah. on uh, like, uh, to our email, Whatever. to Facebook, yeah. not to Instagram. We don't have Instagram, guys. Okay, I'm sorry. Marcus, you had to squeeze in. <laughs> um, but do that. That'd be very cool. So you can do that on Spotify. Otherwise, you can head to iTunes, rate, subscribe, and leave a review. Yeah. Five stars would be great if you think we deserve it. But, unfortunately, boys, that's all the time we have for this week's episode. Thank you to everyone out there for listening. Thank you, of course, to Marcus. Thank you, Tom. Thank you to Damien. Thank you, Captain. And as we end every episode. Stay curious. curious.